Welcome to lesson one. Solving quadratic equation by extracting the square root. From our topic itself, we have the square root. And this is the symbol for square root. That symbol. Let's say if we have x squared. So what is the relationship of the square and the square root? In this expression, if we're going to extract the square root, the relationship will be the square root will be cancelled out and the square will be cancelled out. And this will become equal to x. Applying your previous lesson about the laws of exponent, why is the square root and square will be cancelled out? Let's say the square root of a. We know that the equivalent of the square root of a is a raised to one half. Applying this one, x squared and the value of the square root is one half so we need to raise to one half power to a power one half times two that is equivalent to one that means x raised to one is also equal to In this lesson, it is very important that you are familiar with the perfect square numbers. First, let us recall. If we have one square, or one times one, that is one. Two square, that is two times two, which is four. Three square, that is three times three, which is nine. Four square, four square which is four times four, is equal to sixteen. And we have 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144, and so on. So in order for you to solve extracting the square root easily, you need to memorize those, or at least familiarize. Let us proceed in solving number one. Let's say x squared minus 16 is equal to 0. Solve by extracting the square root. We need to find the value for x. In this case, we need to isolate our variable. That means we need to transpose negative 16. So x squared is equal to Negative, transpose, that will become positive, 16. Now, get the square root. Square root, square root. So this will be cancelled out. Now x is equal to positive, negative, 4. Why do we need to have the positive and negative sign? Because we have 4, positive 4, times positive 4, that is 16. The other one is negative 4 times negative 4 is also positive 16. So we have two solutions. The positive 4 and the negative 4. Another one. x squared, or oh, let's say 2x squared minus... 50 is equal to 0. Again, isolate your variable. So transpose 2, 2x squared is equal to 50. Now, we have coefficient 2. We need to remove the coefficient 2. 
So we need to divide by 2. Divided by 2. This will be cancelled out because 2 divided by 2 is 1. Therefore, we have x squared is equal to 50 divided by 2. That is 25. Extract the square root. So x is equal to, the square root of 25 is, positive negative 5. Another example, number 3. 4b squared minus 225 is equal to 0. The same step, isolate the variable. So we need to transpose negative 225. So the remaining is 4b squared, copy, is equal to transpose 225, positive 225. Now, divide by 4. The remaining will be b squared is equal to 225 over 4. 225 divided by 4, is it divisible? No. But notice that 225 and 4 are perfect square number. So that means we need now to extract the square root. B is equal to positive negative square root of 225. That is 15 over square root of 4, that is 2. This is now our final answer. Fourth example, 3y squared minus 147. The same process. Isolate the variable, copy 3y squared is equal to 147. Now, Divided by 3. Divide by 3. Y squared is equal to 147 divided by 3. So let us divide. 14 divided by 3. That is 4. 4 times 3. 12. Then subtract. 14 minus 12. 2. Bring down 7. 27 divided by 3. That is 9. So we now have 49. To find y, get the square root. y is equal to positive negative 7. And now our last example, number 5. Quantity w plus 7 raised to 2 is equal to 196. Notice that we have a parenthesis, and 196 is already isolated. Can we now extract the square root? Yes. And also notice in the given that 196 is a perfect square number. So we can now extract the square root. Get the square root. Square will be cancelled out. Then the remaining w plus 7 is equal to positive negative square root of 196. That is 14. Positive negative 14. Now transpose positive 7. So w is equal to positive negative 14 minus 7. Did you get it? Okay, find the volume, find the value of W. Notice that we have positive and negative 14. So, we will have the W sub 1, which means our first value, and let us use the positive sign. 14 minus 7. And W sub 2, 
which is negative 14 minus 7. 14 minus 7, that is 7. So w sub 1 is 7. And w sub 2, negative 14 minus 7, that is negative. So that ends our first lesson, solving quadratic equation by extracting the square root.